Hi, in this video, we're going to solve the equation negative 6 times y plus 5 minus 18 equals negative 66. Now we're trying to solve for the y here, which is inside of these, and we'll do that by distributing our negative 6. Negative 6 times y is negative 6y. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. So notice this becomes minus 30. I'm going to carry down my minus 18 and my equals negative 66. Now that I've distributed, I'm going to combine any like terms that I have. In this case, on the left-hand side, negative 30 minus 18, those are my like terms, and they equal negative 48. So now we have negative 6y minus 48 equals negative 66. Now we want to solve for the y. We'll always subtract or add to both sides first. In this case, because we have a minus 48, we will add 48 to both sides to cancel that out. So that cancels, leaving me with just negative 6y on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, negative 66 plus 48 is going to end up being negative 18. Now, to keep solving for y, we have to get rid of that negative 6 in front. Because it's negative 6 times y, the opposite is actually going to be division. So we'll divide by negative 6 on both sides. That cancels over here and leaves us with y equals positive 3 on the right-hand side. From here, we want to do our check. So to do our check, we're going to plug the answer we just got, y equals 3, back into the original equation to see, did it work? So we have a negative 6, and then instead of y plus 5, we now have 3 plus 5. Minus 18 equals, we hope, negative 66. We'll simplify the left side to see what it comes out to be. We'll start with what's inside the parentheses. So I now have negative 6 times 3 plus 5 is 8. Minus 18 hopefully equals negative 66. Now I'm going to multiply. Negative 6 times 8 is negative 48. Notice I keep carrying everything down here. And negative 48 minus 18 is negative 66. So the two sides do match, which means that y equals 3 is indeed my final solution.